Hey Techies, Anthony from Hashtag here, and today you're looking at a package sent from Amazon Vine. And um, so uh, I had to pick something, and uh, this is what I picked. Let's just open it up and get to it, if I can figure out how. Oh, well, there you go. There we go. So, what do we have? Wired game controllers for NES. And you see they have the um, the uh, the plug, you know, the, for the classic system as well as for Switch. And, of course, it shows you the uh, classic system. And uh, just basically letting you know what exactly to expect. Nothing too fancy. So, let's get this open. A pair of scissors and a camera readjustment later. And here we go. And, uh, yeah, we'll just toss the box here. There's nothing else in it. And, uh, oh, these are very light, clicky. And then, yeah, it does have the controller type they made for that. She got the other one. See if the feeling is consistent. Now, it says there's a 10-meter cord, I believe. Or, no, it's 10 feet. 3-meter? Yes, it's 10-foot cord. It was a little sticky. Yeah, these are a lot better than these. I'm going to get stuck over time. Uh, so, here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try to use it on my Switch because I don't have an NES Classic. And you go, well, how? You can use it on your Switch. Well, I have this from ItBit, though. Uh, 8-bit um, this, this adapter here, uh, throw in some batteries, and then it'll sync up to my switch, allowing me to use one of these. And it just clicks on right here. And with it, uh, I can select switch or computer or Xbox. I'm going to, of course, use the switch and uh, see if we can play some classic Nintendo games. Okay, so we're at the TV, and um, I have my... Pokemon controller, you see it works here. So I put batteries in the 8-bit dough, and I'm going to unwrap one of these controllers. As you see, we have them here. And uh, we're gonna take the connection here and stick it into this. Now, the fun thing about this adapter is it also has a GameCube slot for GameCube controllers. But we'll stick it in here, and we have it on, uh, actually, we have it set to switch. And now we need to turn it on. And hopefully it picks it up. Maybe. Uh, nothing yet. I'm hitting the button. Okay, so here we are at settings. We're gonna hit the yellow button, I guess. Doesn't seem to be picking it up. So after trying the wireless sync didn't work, I went ahead and grabbed a mini USB port. And as you can see on the screen, it connected. So, assuming this can go backwards. Hold on, let's see if I hit the other controller. It says it's connected. So it pushed me out. So let's try here. I'm going to switch controllers. Uh, maybe this one is messed up. So let's try the second one. And the second one, of course, is the one that's still tied up. And then we'll turn this back on. Disconnect power. Disconnect the cable. Reconnect the cable. Does it see it? Okay, it sees something. There's no LNR, so I can't click it. And it doesn't see the controller. As I keep pressing all the buttons here. Oops, I accidentally hit the table. Because it sees it as inactive. See if I can pair a new controller. There's no LNR, so I can't. Uh... So I'm gonna go into the program and see if maybe it'll see the second controller. Oh. 
Yes, they're already a problem because I can't press L. And I think when it connects, that's what's happening here is it forces it into sleep mode and doesn't give me the ability to exit out. And then I have to reactivate the, the, uh, the Pokemon controller. Now I'm pressing this button here and you see nothing's happening. So these are not working. And because it took priority, I don't have control. As you see, this is now play two. I don't have control over the screen. So for curiosity, I'm going to switch back to the other controller. Oh, I see. It's a sensitive connection thing going on. Okay, let me switch back to the other control. Okay, now what's... Ah, ha, ha, ha! So the connection... is, uh, flawed. Well, look at that. Yeah. Th it is super sensitive. I'm going to try to put it flat in the thing and see. Yeah, because it is skipping. Oof. Switch to the other one. Now we get... And it's it's light slightly loose. I'll try something. Cause it, it seems like it doesn't matter which controller it is, the reaction is gonna be the same. Okay, so I'm going to stop this. So my opinion on these is probably not the best controllers. I, if they work like this on the Switch, they may work like this on the NES Classic Edition. So if you purchase these heads up, it may or may not work for you. Maybe I got a glitchy set. I don't know. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it, and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.